Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make some spring decor to go in the store out of just scraps of wood that I have. We can use most any kind of wood for this. This is plywood and beadboard and uh, even uh, two by sixes. So I'm just going to base coat each of these. Some I'm going to just lightly paint them like this. Uh, where some of the wood shows through and then uh, some I'm going to do complete coverage on and these uh, two by sixes I'm going to make sure and paint around all the edges um, and I'm going to do the front and back of each of these and even these more narrow boards I'm going to paint the sides of but uh, make sure for sure that you don't paint I mean that you don't forget to paint the sides of the two by sixes. Now I'm going to base coat these all different colors. A lot of these are going to get decoupage and different things like that. And um, it always works best if you have a lighter color underneath. Um, white works really well. But I kind of wanted to give these a little bit more variety, so I'm just painting them all different colors. I won't be adding hangers to any of these. Uh, they'll either be shelf sitters or something to um, put in a tiered tray. Uh, just small ways of adding some spring decor in your store. Or if you don't have a booth or store, uh, just some little touches you can add to your home to decorate for spring. Some of these will even fit perfectly inside a cellophane bag and you can tie some ribbon around the top and it makes a really good little gift. Uh, I sell these a lot for teacher gifts and uh, secret pal or secret sister gifts. And because I don't have anything in these, um, I can sell this size for about five bucks and that sells really well for teacher gifts. My husband calls this turning nothing into cash because uh, these little scraps of wood a lot of times will get discarded. And um, I used to go around to construction sites and they'll throw uh, wood just out in the yard. And if you ask, um, they'll let you have it because if they've thrown it in the yard, it's going to the dumpster. Uh, so I get a lot of wood that way, or I used to. I'm still using some that I got last year. So now I'm going to be decoupaging some parts of napkins on this one. And uh, I wish I could say where this beautiful nap napkin came from, uh, but I was sent it along with uh, a lot of them that I'll be using today uh, by a sweet viewer. And uh, I don't know where she finds her napkins. I've, I've seen some of them on uh, Amazon, but um, this one, I'm not sure where it came from. So I'm just going to use part of this. And then I'll use part of another napkin in, to finish it. So uh, you can a achieve some different looks uh, with just mixing some of these uh, napkins and decoupage paper. Now with this napkin, I had uh, more than one image. Uh, so I was able to do the front and the back from the same napkin.
Now, I always sand around the edges of these, uh, if not only to cut that, um, to clean up the edge of the napkin or decoupage paper, uh, then also to kind of smooth out the cut side or the cut edges of my boards. And this is a script stamp set that I ordered recently, so I will be able to attach this in the description. Now, I don't know what I would do without antiquing ink. Um, I have only discovered it about a year ago, and um, it just made things so much easier. Um, so, I've had people ask if, if you could only get certain things when you're a beginner crafter, what kind of things would you get? And that's probably one of them. Although it isn't a permanent ink, um, it can be sealed over and made permanent. Now, you wouldn't want to brush over it because um, when your brush touches it, you're going you're gonna to move the color, but you could spray seal it to make it more permanent. Something like this I don't worry about because it's not going to be outside at all, and once it dries, it's going be uh, it's, it's going to be there. It's not like it's going to um, wear off or anything. It's just that if you were to wet this, then um, some of it might come off. And with this one, I'm going to give it more of a shabby chic look. So I'm just kind of building some roses on this one. And uh, if you haven't seen this more in detail, then I have several videos where I'm doing this uh, more close up and slower. So I can attach one of those videos in this uh, in the description. 
And because there's just a little bit of lavender in this napkin, I'm gonna add a little bit of lavender in my flowers as well. And now I'm just stamping the word spring on just a little piece of cloth and I've just torn it and I'm gonna unravel those ends when I cut it and then just glue that to the top. My sister and I did several of these and not all of them will be featured in this video, uh, but we just kind of spent some time working on several and it didn't take long to uh, have a pretty good selection. Now this netted ribbon here, I found at the Dollar Tree and they have in several different colors, but I love this neutral color because I'm just putting it on here for texture. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless you and your family.